I've lost 15 acres since last week. It's got to be some kind of insect. But there's no evidence of an infestation. What kind of evidence are you looking for? A written confession? <laughs> the only abnormality we've found in the soil samples is a drastic drop in amino acid levels. Now, I understand your frustration. No, you don't. If somebody doesn't do something soon, we're all going to lose our farms. <gasps> Make sure the cord doesn't get twisted. Craven, give me one more order and you're gonna get twisted. The hydrophone is a very sensitive piece of equipment. If it isn't handled properly, the sound wave readings could be severely distorted. Uh, Craven. Randy, please, no more arguments. My lips are sealed. How are those waves, buddy? Any distortion? Oh, no. Nick! If he refers to me as sweetie, even once, I will hurt him. Good to see you. Ray, any chance I can say the same to you? Hey, I'm your lawyer. I'm on your side, remember? Yeah. Now, it's nothing to worry about, trust me. Just a little lawsuit. The city of Miami is suing us for $50 million in damages? How can they do that? Well, they claim heat destroyed three major luxury hotels and two miles of beachfront attractions. Yeah, while saving 20,000 tourists from a vampire bat the size of Orlando. Ridiculous. We cannot be held responsible for the destruction caused by Godzilla. That's true, sweetie. But according to the lawsuit, the heat team's weapons caused most of the actual damage. Fine. Next time some mutant wants to have the Sunshine State for lunch, don't come crying at us. There's a preliminary hearing in two days. I should be able to get this thing thrown out, but Nick, I need you down there to testify. We are not gonna get away with this. Oh, just wait till I take the stand. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. I'm not sure you can spare any. Hey guys, not everyone's going to Miami. Somebody has to stay behind to keep an eye on things. So? Other than you and me, Hefe. Who gets to go? Randy! What? You left my DVD player on again. Now the batteries are dead. Oh, sorry. How many times have I asked you to turn it off when you're done with it? This is the fourth time this month. Chill, dude. It's a couple of batteries. No big deal. It is a big deal, because you're totally inconsiderate of others. That's not true. I care about others, just not you. That's enough, guys. Elsie, pack. Randy and Craven, stay here. Uh, uh, what? Monique, I need you to stick around and keep an eye on the in-laws over here. I am not a babysitter. I will grab my gear. If there's an emergency, you call us immediately. Understand? Fine. Good morning. Mutations are us. How may I direct your call? Right? Uh-huh. We'll be there as soon as we can. That look means trouble. Oh, there's trouble, my friend. Mutant trouble in Michigan. Better call Nick. 
<laughs> Guess again. Randy, come on, Craven. Nick left us in charge. We should be able to make our own executive decision. Besides, the guy on the phone said it's some kind of a giant beanstalk. All we gotta do is show up, chop it down. Hmm. How hard could that be? Piece of cake for two hardy men like us. Well, one's a little hardier than the other. Looks like old McDonald lost his farm. It appears to be some kind of fungus. A attack of the killer mushroom? What's that? Due north, three quarters of a mile. Let's rock, Craven, my man. It's hero time. The creature landed on top of the hotel. We responded with laser fire, but there was never... Doctor Totopolis. Laser fire from the heat team's weapons hit the hotel, along with several other nearby buildings, causing massive damage. Correct? Objection. My clients were responding to an emergency call for assistance. The people of this city asked for help, not World War III. The point, Your Honor, is that if it were not for my clients, today Miami Beach would be a sandbar. The damage caused by the heat team was unavoidable and pales in comparison with the lives that would have been lost. <laughs> what we're gonna do if we catch up to them? I have a, a plan. You do not! I do too. Not? Okay, Karnak, if you're so smart, what's your plan? I don't have one! Ha! But at least I'm honest about it. Besides, it was your bright idea to come here in the first place. I assumed you had everything figured out. Never assume anything. So much for our solo career. Make sure you tell Nick this was your idea. Ah, I can't get a signal. We have no phone, no Jeep, no supplies, and no idea where we are. So, when exactly does the hero portion of this little adventure begin? As soon as we reach the nearest town. We just have to make do for a little while. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry. I've roughed it a million times. There's nothing to it. Come on, this way. It's going great. Oh, yeah. Three hours of humiliation. Great. No answer at headquarters. Where are those guys? I thought you were going to catch us something to eat. I'm starving. Give me a break. It's not a supermarket out there. Well, at least start the fire, okay? It's starting to get cold. Uh, okie dokie. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? <laughs> what, what, are you kidding me? Don't worry, Craven. Piece of cake, Craven. You were lying, as per usual. You never roughed it in your life. You don't insult me. I'll have you know I went to fresh air camp when I was 12 and survived the whole week on nothing but graham crackers and milk. Well then, it's too bad we aren't stranded in the gingerbread forest. Listen, I may not be an expert at this survival stuff, but there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> There's a little something to worry about, but we can do this. We just need to dig deep, tap into the survival instincts passed down by our ancestors. <laughs> My ancestors. <laughs> Dinner is served. Sorry, Rambo, but I am not putting those in my mouth. Ditto. Still no answer. And I've been getting a busy signal on Randy's cell phone for two hours. He probably just made a call and forgot to turn it off. I've got a bad feeling about this. If Randy's phone is still turned on, it might be possible to trace the signal and approximate their location. I owe you one. <laughs> Don't mention it.
Raven? We're even. Voila! They ran away to Michigan? Let's see if the news service reports can tell us why. Mysterious attacks and widespread agriculture damage in Michigan. Officials blame a mutant fungus. Hicks. Already on my way. I was dealing with a little security breach down in the Caribbean when the call came in. Speaking of which, I've left five messages at your office. Where are you? Miami. Don't ask. We can be at the airport in 20 minutes. Pick you up there. We have to go. Nick, you can't leave. The hearing's not over. It is for us. If Miami wants to sue, fine. We've still got a job to do. You really think the SOS is gonna do any good? I mean, we've been walking for hours, and there's no sign of anything. Hey, nice work on these arrows. Thanks. Those little river rocks you filed down work great. Good. No! She's still breathing, but I can't wake her up! ETA to base camp is five minutes. Correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen. But weren't you supposed to call me if there was an emergency? It was his idea! You just couldn't wait to tell him, could you? She should be okay, but from what I can tell, Monique's system was completely drained of amino acids. What does that mean? They're essential organic compounds that just about all living things need for survival. Those mutated stalks must be draining amino acids out of everything they touch. Which also explains why Godzilla almost collapsed. You think the big guy's gonna be okay? Well, amino acids are produced during digestion, so if Godzilla's system wasn't totally depleted, he should recover after he eats. But Monique's condition is too severe. She's gonna need several transfusions. That's when we dove into the river and hid underwater. <laughs> Breathing through tiny reeds until those fungus things left. My man Craven even scored some dinner. This guy's reflexes are so fast that the fish didn't know what hit him. Okay, you're telling me that Grizzly Adams here caught a trout with his bare hands? Actually, it was a coho salmon. That big fishbone came in handy, scraping bark from the trees, which we used along with some rocks to make that SOS you guys spotted from the helicopter. We didn't see any SOS. We found you two because Randy didn't turn off his cell phone. We'll need to trace the signal. You're my hero. <laughs> Good work, bro. Hello. What do you got? Well, I fed the test results from the mutated stock into a botanical database. We're dealing with an armillaria. That's the oldest living organism on the planet. It's basically a huge parasite that feeds on other plant life. There's a main body and thousands of tentacles which secrete enzymes designed to metabolize amino acids. Pesticides could have altered the genetic makeup of our fungus, mutating it to the point where plants aren't enough to sustain it. Every living thing could be at risk. So how do we stop it? You saw what happens when the stalks are sliced. They just grow back. Then we have to shut this thing down at its core. Only one problem. Those tentacles can extend for miles. The brain could be anywhere. It looks like a giant octopus. Between the armillaria's main body and all those arms, we're talking a total mass of 1,500 acres. That would put its estimated body weight at about 100,000 pounds. Unless it's retaining water, and then you have to figure in the extra five. That's a pretty high weight class, even for the G-Man. 
I wish we could transport this thing to an area that offers no nutrients. There isn't a piece of equipment in the entire U.S. military capable of moving something that massive. Then who knows if we can count on Godzilla's help. He might still be weak from the last attack. Then our only choice is to uncover the main body of the fungus and destroy its central nervous system. You think that'll work? It's the only shot we've got. I'll get on the horn. Ah, uh, whatever we do, I suggest we do it quick. Fungus face grew ten acres since we started talking. I want everyone in position by 0900 hours. Is that clear? You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Munch on one of these babies. Craven and I found them in the forest. They're an excellent source of natural energy. And they make your breath smell nice. This is a hallucination, no? Nope. Say hello to the geek family Robinson. If anything comes up out of the ground, soldier, permission to fire. Still no signs of the plant. Sonar says this is the right locale. Major Hicks, we've made contact! Ooh, pretty. The laser fire has to get past the top layers in the main body and reach the heart of the central nervous system. Keep firing! We have to break through to the core! for miles. Lasers must have crippled its central nervous system. Now it's stranded with nothing to consume. No more food, no more fungus. It's making a run for it! Well, we won. No thanks to you. I cited an obscure legal statute that exempts damages caused during a state of emergency. <laughs> Judge threw the case out. Once again, good triumphs over evil. Only when good is on a retainer. Hey, Craven, you want to go camping next weekend? No tent, no supplies, just two guys and a pocket knife. Yeah, uh, maybe. Or, you know, we could just go to the movies or grab a pizza. Yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, there's this band playing at a coffee house near me. Oh, my God. 